Today on Running to Him. Ministry to military personnel brings many to Christ. Today's reading is Matthew chapter 8, verses 5 through 13, and we will be concentrating on verses 10 through 13. Matthew 8, 10 through 13 says, Now when Jesus heard this, he marveled and said to those who were following, Truly I say to you, I have not found such great faith with anyone in Israel. I say to you that many will come from the east and west and recline at the table with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the sons of the kingdom will be cast out into the outer darkness. In that place there will be a weeping and gnashing of teeth. And Jesus said to the centurion, Go, and it shall be done for you as you have believed. And the servant was healed that very moment. Today we are recognizing the sacrifice of those in the armed forces made. May 31st recognizes the ultimate sacrifice men and women made to this country. November 11th, on the other hand, recognizes the sacrifice a member of the armed forces is willing to make. We should take some time today to reflect and possibly spend some time with the Blue Star family, if you know one. Now, if I asked you prior to today's reading, to whom did Jesus pay the highest compliment, you would probably not guess a Roman soldier. These men were reviled in Judea and most of the lands in which they conquered. They could be cruel and heartless killers. They were known to, open quote, take advantage, close quote, of certain, open quote, opportunities, close quote, available to all conquerors. Yet a Roman centurion came to Jesus to ask for a favor. His servant was paralyzed in great agony. Would Jesus heal him? Now, if we were in Jesus' position, we might have asked for more information or just walked away. Instead, Jesus immediately consented and told the centurion he would go where the servant was and to heal him. The centurion's response showed his faith in Christ by stating that Jesus did not have to go, but just say the word and the servant would be healed. Jesus' response to the crowd around him was that he had not found such a faith in Israel. A Roman centurion, a hated person by the Jews, showed more faith than anyone in Israel. Now, I have a personal experience about the ministry which an ordinary person can have on the lives of someone in the military. I was a benefactor of such a ministry as well as a player in military ministry. Both Tony and I came to Christ while I was in the Army. We began our purposeful life in Christ under the discipleship of Chaplain Bill Clark, his wife Norma, his chaplain's assistant, Dan Holmeyer, and Dan's wife, Linda. Those four people molded not only Tony and me, but probably hundreds of other soldiers and their families directly and thousands indirectly. Now, there is one reason that a soldier and other military personnel respond so well to a person who's living a a consistent life in Christ. The offer of stability and a steady guide gives armed service personnel a way to live their lives in the turbulent nature of the military life and in a comforting manner. The reason I am a chaplain in the Civil Air Patrol and active in the lives of cadets, those between the ages of 12 and 21, and senior members, those between the ages of 18 and death, is that they have the same needs as other active or reserve service members. CAP is an organization that is an auxiliary of the United States Air Force. The nature of their mission, service to the community, search and rescue, delivery of medication to areas which need it, etc., has them face stress every time they train or go out on a mission. They need spiritual guidance and prayer. Now, if you know a soldier, airman, seaman, or marine, or anyone on active military duty, reach out to them and tell them, thank you, and you are praying for them. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.